move on to costs. What's it cost to own this? Okay, so you got it. Somebody walks into your door. This is literally what happened. Somebody walks into your door and says, oh, uh, this is late December 2018. Guy comes in and says, oh, here's a brand new V4S, completely modified, yours, sign. Okay. <laughs> And I did, I could remember the day. And I remember first sitting on it and thinking, uh, what in the world have I done? <laughs> what in the world has Jared done? But uh, you obviously have to license it, insure it, and then maintain it as you go along. And I'm gonna start with the last first. I don't put uh, maintenance. I don't put a lot of miles on my machines. Uh, so typically I have, I don't want to make it sound like I have a fleet. I typically do a once a year maintenance on them. That includes once per year late break, bleed, 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 break, bleed, and inspection and uh, oil change and filter. I do that every year, the oil change and filter every year regardless of the mileage. And I do the break, bleed every year. Every other year, I do a flush and bleed on the brakes. <laughs> Easier for me to say. But uh, those are just precautionary on my part uh, and you want to make sure that uh, you take care of that. This is this is a great machine to be the custodian of and, and pay it forward. Um, the cost of this machine, the new one listed on the Ducati site is $28,395. So it's expensive to buy. Uh, you're not going to get it out the door, I don't think, wherever you live for less than $30,000. That's a lot of money for a motorcycle. Uh, you can spend a lot less and achieve a very fine machine. The insurance, therefore, where I'm going with all that, not bragging necessarily about what it's worth, where I'm going with all that is the insurance, therefore, is expensive. It costs. Uh, in my case, at my age, good accident history, it cost me three to four hundred dollars to insure this per year. Uh, I was paying six hundred dollars per year to insure it. I found another insurance company, adjusted my mileage because I do very few miles on this machine, and uh, I was able to achieve a savings there. But that's expensive, ladies and gentlemen. If you're a younger person and putting big miles on this every year, be prepared, uh, in California anyway, it'll, it'll of course vary depending upon your driving record and where you live, uh, I'm going to say you could be looking at an insurance bill in uh, six figures, um, oh, sorry, four figures, let's say $1,000 a year or perhaps $800 a year. So it's a lot. Uh, what do I pay for that maintenance that I get done? That's going to run you anywhere from $300 to $500 in and out when you go in. Uh, there is a thing, I think you can refer to it as a Ducati tax, and that is expensive to own these machines. They expect you to pay for it. You're dealing with some very highly trained technicians uh, where uh, some other bikes, perhaps some Japanese bikes, maybe two thirds of that. Ducati's going to Ducati's going to get you. So it's about $300 to a max of $500 for that uh, yearly maintenance. To license this, we have to buy a license plate once per year in California. Not sure about your neck of the woods or your neck of the world, but this past year that cost me $292. That also is expensive. Uh, that is about ex as expensive as some cars, but uh, we are on a sliding scale and that will diminish per year by about 10% down to, uh, down, certainly not down to zero, but over five years it'll drop about uh, 30% and then kind of stay there. But around $300 a year just for the privilege of riding it on uh, California roads. <laughs> Uh, the last thing uh, to mention before I wrap it all up, I'm sure you're saying, please let me go. I want to go have a cup of coffee or a beer or a glass of wine. I don't know. You tell me what is it that you like. Uh, is reliability. 
uh, Ducatis, I don't know where they got the reputation, but Ducatis have this reputation of being cantankerous, is a big word, but perhaps less than uh, ultimately reliable. In my case, this machine, with one exception, has never let me down on the road. And that exception was not a Ducati part. There was a carbon fiber kickstand on this machine, part of the mods. Remember I said, uh, they must have discussed and said, is that too much? And someone said, yes, that is way too much. They said, good, we're gonna do it. And a carbon fiber kickstand I might submit is maybe that step too far. My experience was I had just gotten back from a ride, uh, got off the machine, or dropped the kickstand, got off the machine, turned around, was taken off my helmet. I heard a plop, bang, anyway, whatever sound a uh, $30,000 plus Ducati makes when it hits the ground, and there it was lying on its side. Uh, after I recovered my senses, wondering what the heck happened, stood it up, reached for the kickstand, and it was just flopping. It, it broke right in the center. Uh, I'm not going to name the name of the manufacturer. Uh, it may have been just a bad experience. I don't believe it was anything I did, but it did break. So I've got a metal one on there now. And I'm going to have a call to action in this uh, vlog, by the way. Very quick aside. The uh, kickstand now is pure metal and looks like metal. It's uh, silver-ish. But uh, my call to action to you is, should I get it powder-coated matte black? You tell me. Give me a comment. Um, the um, fact is when they first issued these, they went like through something like six recalls. Uh, four of them, I believe the number was like four, Jarrett had done while it was in his ownership in the Pennsylvania area. And there were two that were done uh, that I had covered out here in California. Can't recall them uh, specifically, None of them, I don't think, were of a monumental type nature, but that's a lot of recalls. Uh, to Ducati's credit, that was the first year the bike was manufactured, and it was a giant departure. That V4 takes them from the world of L-twins or V-twins, as everybody knows, into a whole new directions, makes their machines uh, more like their MotoGP machines, but it was a very big departure. I suppose it's not too surprising they had recalls, but six is a lot, um, I, and I believe that's it. There may have, may have been uh, one more. Uh, doesn't leak, doesn't spit oil. Again, I'm not going to name names, but I know of some uh, Ducatis and machines that have done that in the past. Doesn't leave a puddle. Uh, Jay Leno likes to say, hey, it's Italian, it marks its territory. <laughs> but uh, have not had that issue. Uh, it's very tight, starts every time. One of the modifications done was a uh, lithium ion battery. I've gone on vacation for three weeks, four weeks and come out, turned it on, fired it up, it uh, catches and moves right along. I would recommend, by the way, that uh, lithium ion battery to anybody on virtually any kind of machine. I don't have to keep this on a battery tender, uh, and it's been uh, very reliable that way. Um, that is uh, about what I can recall for all this time. It's been, it's been just really an absolute joy to own this machine. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up with some random thoughts that are going to run through back and forth here, just, just to round it up. Uh, would I, thought number one, would I buy this machine again? No, I would not. <laughs> now, take that as you may. Uh, I am not the right person to be riding this machine. Uh, I am not at the right stage of life. My first ride video of that, a number of people said, what's that old guy doing on that machine? What does he do, Bond? And they have a point. Uh, but uh, I would not own this machine. I don't intend to own more than one motorcycle for uh, much longer. Uh, it is not a single uh, owned motorcycle, in my opinion. My opinion, the ideal uh, demographic for this is a young person who does occasional track days 
and occasionally rides on the street for pleasure. It is not a commuting bike. So uh, when I say no, I wouldn't buy it for myself again, that's not damning in any way. It's just recognizing who I am in relation to the machine. If any of you out there uh, actually do use this on a daily basis, I'd love to hear about it. I, first of all, you have my respect, but uh, I'd love to hear about it, hear uh, your experiences with it.